look at this vending machine. Oh, look at this milk box. Oh, look. I don't know. So who remembers when food erasers were a thing? Like for me, they were popular when I was like eight and nine years old. And everyone in school, and everyone had the like coolest erasers. Like, oh, look at this vending machine. Oh, look at this milk box. Oh, look. I don't know. But me, like I didn't exactly have the allowance to. And I also didn't even know where the, like where these people were getting their erasers because I always went to the to the store and I never found them. I never found cool erasers like that. So obviously they probably got them abroad or whatever. Um, well, I had some cool erasers too, actually. But I didn't have like a ton like some of my classmates did. And some of them were even selling food erasers. And we were like eight, nine years old. We were entrepreneurs. <laughs> I don't know. Not we. Anyway, so like I had cool erasers, but I also like didn't have a lot. Like it just looked kind of a lot because some of them were big, I guess or whatever my mom will argue that it was a lot but like I guess I decided that because I didn't have the coolest erasers I guess I decided that I would just have the most erasers okay well so this is why my mom will argue that it was a lot but like to make my erasers more to do that you know what I did I would cut up erasers like even just the regular rectangular ones I would cut them up so I would like technically have a lot of erasers which I was embarrassed about them because you know people would bring their erasers to school and you would like oh look at look at my erasers like you would compare or like show each other or like even trade I remember I specifically remember bringing out my erasers to show my friend and like you know obviously side by side to hers mine were pathetic like yeah I had some cool ones but a lot of them were just kind of cut up erasers so yeah 